In this video, we'll do an example problem of uh, universal law of gravitation due to Newton that the force is equal to a constant capital G times ma mass 1 times mass 2 divided by the distance squared, that distance being between the centers of the two objects. We're given that each uh, object has a radius of 16 centimeters and the objects are touching and the objects are lead. So we're headed towards uh, you know, calculating this force, the F. G is a constant that's known. We'll look that up. Uh, to get the masses, if we know it's lead and we know uh, something about the size of the objects, well, we're going to use the density of lead. We'll look that up as well. Uh, and the volume of the object to come up with the, uh, uh, the mass number. So our radius of one sphere is 16 centimeters. We'll work in meters, standard metric unit of distance, so 0.16 meters. That means our small r here in this diagram from center to center, the small r, is 32 centimeters. You know, there's capital R plus capital R, or 0.32 meters. So we're on our way to finding the force. We've discovered what the small r number is. Now for the mass. Density is defined as mass divided by volume. So the mass is the density multiplied by the volume. For a sphere, the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Again, this capital R. Uh, just for one of the spheres, it's radius. So we put in some numbers here. I looked up the density of lead, 11.34 times 10 to the third kilograms per cubic meter. Then the calculation for the volume, 4 thirds pi and 0.16 cubed. Again, the radius of one sphere is 0.16. The distance from center to center is 0.32 meters. So we can calculate it that initial volume. You ought to pause your, uh, your playback here and do this calculation. I came up with 194.56 kilograms. That's still pretty substantial, 194.56 kilograms. Um, using that now to calculate the force, the constant of gravitation, the mass is squared because they're, the two masses are identical. So we have m1 times m2. That's a shortcut of that is just to square the one mass. And then we're dividing by the distance between the centers squared. From center to center is 0.32 meters. So again, pause. Use your calculator. I believe you'll come up with 2.47 times 10 to the minus 5th newtons. I was just curious how many pounds that is, so I brought in the conversion factor. One pound is 4.448 newtons, and multiplying that uh, conversion factor, uh, dividing into the, the newton number, uh, we find that the force is 5.54 times 10 to the minus 6 pounds. So some of us uh, watching this video are more used to pounds than newtons. Uh, that's about five millionths of one pound. 10 to the minus 6 is a millionth. That's very small. Gravity is a weak force. So this is a, uh, a reasonable result. Gravity is a weak force. If you'd like to watch some other videos, you can see the ones, uh, the listing of what's posted on YouTube at these two websites, um, physics.gpclements.com for the physics uh, videos. There's nothing to buy at these websites. Just look at the list of videos. Hopefully find something that's useful for you. And keep practicing your physics problems.